Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Vault Tutorials. I'm Koichi GZ and in this video I'm going to be doing another mega monster battle against the Yusha uh, Sura Ringuru. So that's going to be the hero tank Sura Ringuru. But this time since I do have the uh, Sura Ringuru, I'm going to be using a team with my god hand equipped with the Sura Ringuru. So I'm going to be right here. So um, here this is going to actually do a whole lot better damage compared to uh, my previous video on uh, using a gear based team. So um, with this, definitely uh, I'm going to be buffing up this character to do as much damage as I can and hopefully take down uh, the Sudoding tank, uh, <laughs> hero tank Sudodinguru as quickly as possible. So yeah, so this should actually really help out uh, in terms of having on the Sudoding gear. Then with my... Uh, Archmage here. This is going to be equipped with the Hell Mirror, which is going to have Gitter Glade. So Gitter Glade is going to be doing uh, bug, uh, Gitter Spell damage to the enemy. Then hopefully I will be able to get some uh, Force Breaks with this particular character as well. Then here with my Ninja, I'm going to have on the Hades Scythe. So the Hades Scythe is going to be um, hopefully used in order to get the trap on the enemy that's going to do dormant damage and also possibly lower uh, defenses as well so for my physical attacks with this weapon and also with the suit and gear that should really help in terms of taking out the enemy as f faster then here with my high priest I'm going to have on the holy wind staff so this is going to work out quite well in terms of healing um, my characters and also resurrecting as well so uh, yeah so with this particular team I'm really hoping uh, some good results since they're all equipped with the treasure gear um, they're going to be taking a lot less damage uh, than they normally would so pretty much with the gear they have on and also their shields um, they should be taking about 40% less damage since each piece of equipment has a uh, plus 10 resistance to slime so with that said if you want to know more about this team and their gear you can look down in the video description down below but now i want to go ahead into this battle um considering there's only there is a uh, little more than 30 minutes left uh, i probably will be joined by another person i'm not quite sure but we'll see what happens but with that said here we go Okay, so here we go with this battle. So uh, I am going to have another person join with this battle, but uh, this is going to be straight from the beginning. So what I'll do here is, um, again, what I'll be doing here is I'm going to actually play it fast and loose. Which is, okay, so there I did get the, uh, I did get on the uh, trap on, which can lower defenses. There I'm going to put on Emergency Maintenance. And here I do want my uh, Archmage to be around. So what I'm going to do is actually put on Protective Shield on him. And here with my High Priest as well. I don't want to lose my High Priest. So I'm going to go ahead and put Protective Shield on the High Priest as well. Okay, so it seems to me that the tank pretty much does target like spellcasters. I'm not sure um, why that is, but here I'm going to go ahead and attack. Here we're going to use Stemmy. Here going to use, let's see, I'm going to use Magical Awakening and going to heal with my High Priest. So there my uh, ninja is silenced but that's okay since uh, they don't actually use spells. So here going to go ahead and attack. And there got a Shadow Weave, so that actually really does uh, help out. So here what I'm going to do is, uh, ooh. Uh, 
I'm actually going to be very risky use Battle Demon Release. And here get 32,000 damage. So yes, already doing a lot more damage than I did with my previous video using a Gita based team. So that really does help out. And since uh, the Hero Tank Sururingru is shadow woven, um, this is going to give me time to heal up. So there, and also got uh, attack boost as well. So going ahead and attacking. So let's see how much damage here. Again, 27,000 damage, so that really helps out there. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead, use Encore, and just go ahead and attack again with this. Let's see how much damage here. Get 32,000. So pretty much there, that was pretty much close to 80,000 damage right there. So that really does help out. So here, going to go ahead and attack. 10,000 damage there. Nine thousand. Okay. So here, going to go ahead and attack. At fifty-one thousand damage. And then here, what I'll do is I'm just going to encore. And pretty much just finish him off right this right here. And they're 19,000 damage. Okay. And with this, I get a diesel. Okay, I usually actually don't show this part in my videos, but here I just want to show you um, the amount uh, in terms of damage that I did. So 232,997 damage total. So pretty much for this particular Mega Monster, you need 230,000 damage in order to defeat him. And uh, pretty much I actually got that all alone. Um, I mean, I did have another person join me, but... Um, yeah, but the amount of damage they did and I did is actually quite, there's a very big difference in terms of the damage done. Um, I pretty much did most of the damage with this particular battle. But as you can see from this particular battle, um, yeah, the new weapon actually does really work. Okay, um, like I was just saying, the Suradin gear, it made a complete difference with this battle. Um, I actually did play this uh, battle fast and loose in terms of the doing attacks on uh, the Hero Tank Suradinguru, but everything paid off. Um, pretty much, I um, was kind of worried about what Stun Shot would do or the Stun Grenade would do, but it only silenced my ninja right over here, which didn't matter too much since my ninja doesn't use spells, so that actually was okay. But definitely, yes, the Suradin gear is what went in. It did a lot of damage to the enemy. So much damage. Oh my gosh. I was actually quite surprised about how much damage I actually um, did to the enemy. And pretty much this is also without the enemy having lower defenses or um, force breaks on it. So I could probably eventually do a lot more damage. And then also if I have a, for example, a gather strength, I could probably do a lot more damage. So definitely I'd say um, I will do a video on a damage assessment with this weapon, definitely. So yeah, um, everything worked out quite well. Um, pretty much with the ninja, I got a shadow weave, so that really worked out quite well. So uh, yeah, with that said, 
Um, probably I will try using a Gibania based team with this particular battle. Uh, not quite sure if I want to do that or just go straight into a damage assessment, which could actually take some time. But, um, yeah, with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.